What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Overland Expo Mountain West in Colorado, just outside of Denver, and it's day three. I only have about an hour to walk around the show today because I gotta get back to Nevada. So, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can uh, get a little bit more footage for you guys. Check out as many things as I can in about an hour. I don't know if that's possible, but I figured what the heck. It's Overland Expo, why not? So, yeah, uh, quick, uh, you know, overview of the show in general. I'm really impressed. I like this show. Um, way bigger than I thought. Way, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm actually exhausted. I'm pretty tired. Also, way hotter than I thought. Like, it's crazy, crazy hot up here in the Denver area. <laughs> My neck is fried. I didn't put any suntan lotion. And I didn't bring a brimmed hat, which I should have done. So, rookie mistake right there, I guess. <laughs> I think the only thing that I could really nitpick on is I missed the, the green force of Flagstaff. But that's okay because Flagstaff is only 30 days away. So, I'm still going to go to that one too. And that one, as you guys know, is like the Super Bowl of Overland Expos. So, I don't know. This one's gonna probably uh, give it a run for its money. It's pretty big. I mean, look at this thing. This place is huge. There's the green side where the grass is and the convention halls, which they don't use by the way. And then the dirt side. So, it's it's big. And that's not including the, um, the training fields. They have like training tracks and stuff too, so. Anyway, let's go check it out. I got one hour to see what I can see. Let's see if we can do this. Overland motorcycle. It's got a sidecar with off road tires. He's got two wheel drive in the back. You can see the uh, axle. That's cool. Got a cargo hitch in the back. Extra fuel, extra water, dry bags. This guy's set up to go anywhere. That's awesome. Probably not going to get there fast that you can get there, which is really cool. Well, I like to find things I've never seen before, and this qualifies as something I've never seen before. Thank you. So what do you got? What is this? So this is Super Tramp Campers. This is our flagship LT. So it's a fully composite camper. So no rivets, no aluminum, no wood. Everything in is made in-house here in Golden, Colorado. And it is a 1,200 pound fully kitted truck camper. 
So our big differentiator here is it lifts on four linear actuators in 10 seconds. So no bungees, no latches, nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. Super streamlined. So this is Very M150. clean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only modification we did to the truck was airbags. So pretty much a standard truck otherwise. Uh, it is fun to drive. I can still drive fast <laughs> and pass people. So yeah. I like that. And set up camp in 10 seconds. Yeah, I was going to say, um, it kind of... It's like the earth roamer for truck campers. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like. So, the That's cool. Very, very cool um, design. I mean, the, the, the aesthetics is very cool. You can see that we've got some really large windows here. Our mounting system is here on the exterior. So we use a marine grade ratchet strap. You don't have to lay on your back, get yeah. inside or do anything along those lines. Another thing I noticed too is um, and we were kind of talking off camera. Yeah. Very clean in the back. There's yeah. not a lot of holes in your, in your, in your uh, camper. <laughs> yeah, uh, we really wanted to make it something that you were proud to have on your truck. Like yeah. You wanted to keep it on. So pretty much for us, like we do a lot of three-day weekend trips or leave on yeah. Friday and go somewhere. But it's also like we leave our mountain biking gear in there in the, winter, yeah. in the summer. And then in the winter, we leave our snowboarding gear in there. So it's kind of like our home base and we just leave it on. You know, it actually makes sense, right? You're standing in there. Yeah. If you're above five and a half feet, you're not going to be looking down that little hole anyway. Yeah. You're standing up looking out that big hole. Yeah. <laughs> so it actually really makes sense. I'm yeah. glad you guys did that. That's yeah. different. That's cool. So uh, keyless <laughs> entry here so that super simple that if you and your spouse uh, leave you can easily get in you can leave your keys in there um, also though your friends may get the code come in and drink your beer you know, <laughs> pros and cons yeah. uh, here if you do the inside shower you do a five gallon gray water tank otherwise it's a huge storage unit for more recovery gear mm. anything like that yeah that's so this really is cool a giant pull -out tray that. for storage 48 inches deep you know, put whatever you want. Our, we like to put our dirty gear in there. Wow, that's really nice looking in here. Thank you. So we do a true queen size bed in here with underbed storage. Nice. So for all your clothes and those type of items, our big differentiator is our fabric material. So it's three layers. It's a waterproof breathable mm -hmm. layer and then a layer of insulation and then a waterproof breathable layer. That's cool. So more like a winter coat instead of a rain jacket. Mm -hmm. It allows you to breathe and stay warm, but also doesn't trap everything inside. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you don't have to really upgrade anything then. It's already correct. kind of winterized. Correct. That's cool. I like that. Um, huge windows, as you can see. So we do a zippered mesh, a zippered clear vinyl, and then a zippered insulated mm -hmm. shade. Um, we have 36 inches of headroom here. So, and it's yeah. six foot nine tall inside for all of our tall <laughs> friends. That's nice. Then for storage, we do huge storage. So we have big storage underneath here. So oh, that's a 24 gallon fresh water tank hidden underneath there. So 24 gallons of fresh. Then another deep storage here that fits camp chairs, small children, wow. anything like that. That is impressive. <laughs> the most exciting storage is the toilet. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these small campers, you can't go poo or pee in here because there's no room. Yeah, so this is a five gallon cassette toilet and you simply take it out and you mm -hmm. can step in, use our shower curtain, hook into the oh, ceiling and take cool. an inside shower. So It's a shower pan too. Yep. That is cool. So there's a dedicated five gallon mm -hmm. gray water to that. And then underneath your kitchen, you also have a dedicated mm -hmm. five gallon gray water. So. Something we did different was the Truma Combi heater in here. So that's a European design mm -hmm. solution. It's silent. So we would turn on our heater and run it and then turn it off at night because it would wake us up at so many times. Mm -hmm. So that runs off the two 11 pounders outside mm -hmm. and this also heats your water oh, and your furnace. Two burner, gas stove, plenty of cooking and prepping space, big sink. And then this can be used outside or inside. So take it outside, rinse off your dog, husband, nice, whatever. Same difference. <laughs> <laughs> you can do a bunk bed. So if you have kiddos, you can tilt uh -huh. up a bunk bed right here. I fit on it. So mm -hmm. I'm saying it's pretty good for even up to teenagers. I have kids, so that would be yeah. something I'd like, yeah. Because then you can have one sleeping here, flip up the bunk bed, yeah. and literally it would be, it's this size and it flips up. Yeah. And it would be just like that. You put a kid here and a kid there. That's yep. awesome. And they've got the best window view. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I was noticing that, because um, I see a lot of these campers, you guys have the biggest window in the front I've ever seen. Because usually there's uh, a, like a lever or something there to yeah. pop the thing up. Yeah. So you can't see out the front. 
that's we, really cool. It feels like a balcony. You yeah. Know, I want to lay out there, look at the ocean, look outside, that's enjoy nice. my time, read a book. Um, yeah. But we really think we went big with the windows because we wanted to have like almost a 360 mm. degree view. By far best windows in the entire show on these pop-up. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Spotted this uh, inflatable kayak company called Coco Pelli. This is pretty cool. These guys specialize in making um, kayaks, or I guess they're considered kayaks, but they're like super tough. I mean, I have a cheap inflatable boat and this does not feel like that at all. This is super tough. It's incredible. And then of course this one you can zip in. Very cool. I think those are kid size. Are those kid size? Uh, you those know? Are, those are adult, yeah. Oh, it is adult. Yeah. When you want to sit in there, you want to have your legs just slightly crunched. Just, okay. just a little bit so you can be a little more upright. So it's basically that size because it's packable, right? Exactly. That uh, makes more sense. Yeah. And this is, uh, so this is a 210 denier TPU uh -huh. with a nylon layer in between. Um, we have we do a two-person version of this, too. Mm -hmm. To test with durability, we'll, you can throw your dog on there, mm -hmm. pause it, pull punctured or anything like that. We're actually the only rap company to secure um, a contract with... DuPont mm -hmm. for their Kevlar. So we use uh, DuPont Kevlar for all of our floor systems. Can, can you tell me about that one over there? What's going on yeah. with this one? This is uh, that's the inflatable kayak series, the Mopin. And we do the, the Mopin one, and then a two person version of this as well. So there's like, it's there's inflatables inside of a sleeve. Is that yeah, what that is? Absolutely. So there's two chambers that you inflate on either side, 1.7 psi. And what we, we want to do is is um, look at that five hundred dollar to eight hundred dollar price range mm -hmm. and add a drop stitch floor. You notice a lot of oh, that's the difference. Yeah. yeah. So adding a drop stitch floor at that price point, yeah. I think uh, it gives us a really good competitive edge. Yeah. And it gives you a lot of a lot of stability getting in and out. And you got mm -hmm. a pup on there, or a little kid in front of you moving around. It's it's uh, really appreciated. Um, with that being said, you can it is removable. So if you want to oh, okay. be lighter weight or, or more packable, you can. Uh, can remove the flooring so well. do you is it only a, a single or do you have doubles in this as well yeah we do a double a double mm -hmm. in this as well mm -hmm. and then we do a two-person packable uh TPU version as well for uh for which is one of my personal favorites because it's yeah. um two-person boat that's 13 pounds yeah and packs down to 16 i love it man inches. i don't know if you heard me but i was telling your partners over there um, I live near Tahoe, so oh, everybody has kayaks up in oh, Tahoe, absolutely. right? Like a Reno, Tahoe area. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I, I don't remember seeing your guys' company up there. We need more representation up there, man. I, what the I heck? I said the same thing, and I started here a month ago, and I'm yeah. like, Reno, Tahoe, we need, we need yeah. to yeah over there. Maybe I can help you with that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> That's well, cool. I'll give you my card if you want. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So um, what's the price on, like, say, that one you were talking about over there, the uh, Rogue? The double with the two person? Yes, yeah, so that, that's going to be the twain. Oh, the twain, okay. This bad boy right here. That's our two person TPU version. Two person, that'd be the one that I'd like. And that one's going to be 1250 for that 1250, one. 1250, cool. Yeah. What's the website for guys to check this out more? Yeah, website, visit us at cocopelli.com. And then Company HQ is in Longmont. Nice. What does that mean, by the way, your name, your company name? What does that mean? Is that a Hawaiian name? What is it's that? A, it's a trail system actually out in uh, the western slope of Colorado. Oh, it's a trail system. And it goes from uh, <laughs> it goes from Grand Junction to, to uh, Moab. Oh, and it's okay. It's a bike packing trail. Nice. Um, with that being said, there's, it's been used in a lot of facets. Oh, sure. okay. See, I'm, I'm from Nevada, so I don't know the local lingo out here. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah the the Cocopelli <laughs> Trail is a really awesome kind of western slope of Colorado, oh, okay. Grand Junction to Moab Trail. Nice. Cool. Thanks for your time, man. Yeah, my pleasure. Another cool travel trailer that's breaking the mold. No one's doing them like this is Taxa Outdoors, man. These guys are making some really out of the box travel trailers and teardrops. I don't even really call them teardrops. They're like square drops. And even then, they're not even square. Like, look at this. This is a wall that comes out. Now you have all this view from a little tiny teardrop and then you got the back door look at that that's different no one else is doing that and then you obviously got the uh, aluminum frame if i remember right the story was is the uh engineer used to work for nasa the owner engineer used to work for nasa so very much like a space shuttle in here as far as 
efficiency goes. The benches in the day, which makes sense, and then turns into a bed at night. I love it. Here's your whole kitchen. Just comes, pops out. Two burner stove, all your storage, prep space, water, gravity fed water. You don't even need a pump. That's cool. And then that wall actually acts as an awning too. It's kind of nice. Really cool. I think this one's called the Tiger Moth. Yeah, there it is right there. If you guys want to look on the outside. And you can stand on these uh, these fenders as well. Propane on the outside, dual pane windows. Got the uh, storage box up front with some space for whatever. You can put a probably put a bike there or wood for fire or whatever. Kind of cool. And then storage on top too. It's very cool. I love it. And then there's another one over here. This is a bigger one. This is for you guys that have a family. This is the Mantis. Look at this. So this is what caught my eye. They got a bunk bed. Look at that. So a kid on top. You can actually put an adult on the bottom. I like that woodwork. It's beautiful. Look at that. You got a toilet and a shower. I'm sure you put up, you know, your, your shower curtain right here and take a shower inside here if the weather's bad outside. Full kitchen. Two burner stove, sink, all your organization for cooking, storage below, storage over here. Oh, look, they use milk crates. That makes sense. They just built frames for the milk crates. That is nice. I love it. Look at the headroom. Tons of headroom in here. Even on the lowest portion, I got a lot of headroom. And then way over here, I can't even touch the ceiling. That's nice. You know what I noticed too? If the if the roof is not popped down, you can still sleep there. You don't have to pop up the top if you don't want to. And then you have a U-shaped dinette in the back that also turns into what looks like maybe a queen size bed, the medic fridge, even got a trash can right here. I love that space where you can just look out. Look at that. Park it on a lake, park it on the beach. You get a beautiful Instagram view. That's nice. So, very tiny, but still feature packed for people with a family. Again, mom and dad can sleep back here, two kids over there, maybe even three if you put an air mattress on the floor. Tons of room as far as headroom goes because you got a pop top, nice awning, storage in the back. Oh, wait, this is probably storage and a ladder. That's cool. Dual pane windows. Check out this uh, Frigidaire AC unit. Save a little money by just going with the old school AC in the wall. Then you cover it up when you're going down the road. There's a plastic cover when you're going down the road. That is awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, I don't know how much these things cost. You can check the website. I know they're pricey. Uh, when you get something this unique, they usually go up in price. It's kind of like a work of art. like buying art. Very cool. Taxa outdoors. Look at this. This is Hunter RMV. I've seen these guys before in Arizona at the uh, expo over there. Before they had a RV that was built off of a Stuart and Stevenson military cargo vehicle. Now they have a new one. This is a, a Sella 4x4. Essentially the same vehicle really. I mean it's a big cargo 4x4 diesel. But they took it to the next step. And uh, it's pretty nice. Well, here's the cab. They're kind of famous, really, for this shroud up here. Now, see these bars? They did this on their other model, too. So if a branch came here, it would just push right through and slide right over the top. I'm sure it helps with aerodynamics. And it's also cargo up there, too. You can put some, uh, you can put some gear up there, I'm sure. Big LEDs. Humongous winch. I don't even know how many pounds that thing is. It's got to be freaking crazy, though. I think you can do like on-demand tire uh, deflation and inflation. Gigantic diesel tank. Look how big that is. Look how high the cab is too. That thing's got to be like over five feet tall. Perfect for the zombie apocalypse, right? Zombies can't get up to you because you're way up there. <laughs> Let's go look on this side. Pretty simple.
basically a box in the back and um, I'm guessing it's crazy strong because look at the size of these steel t these steel uh, support tubes or whatever you call it basically like a shipping container so I think technically you could probably put another box on top of this and it would be just fine structurally because look at that that's crazy that, that's like I don't know six inches wide of steel crazy strong crazy crazy strong that's cool let's take a look at the cab up here pretty spartan up here two seats you could probably put a jumper back there if you wanted to I don't know and there's the pass through I like that a lot of people like the fact that you can go from driving to sleeping and eating without ever getting out it's kind of nice a little bit of a security factor there you know you're, you're sleeping something goes down you wake up jump in the driver's seat take off that's nice let's go look on the inside I can already tell there's a cassette toilet that's kind of nice and then here's how you get in Look at this. It's like it's like boarding a ship. I feel like I need to uh, salute before I get inside. Got a nice little grab bar here, and then let's walk inside. Oh, look at the awesome floors! Nice. It's got a wooden floor. Nice countertop. That's beautiful. Deep sink, residential sink, marine cabinets. That's really nice. Induction, two burners. You got a convection microwave grill. That's nice. Tons of storage, more storage, more storage. Queen size bed. Looks like there's more storage underneath there, underneath there as well. Dinette for four people. Probably convert that into a bed. So two people up here, two kids down here. Here's your, wow, tons of batteries. Oh my goodness. And then there's your pass through to the front. A TV that probably swings out. And then, there it is, the most important part. The toilet and the shower. Little window there. Sink to brush your teeth. And a vanity. This is beautiful. This is a humongous step up from the last one that I saw. That is awesome. Is it safe to come down? Yeah. Okay, coming out. So this thing is actually for sale. They're selling this thing. Uh, how much did you say this was selling for? Three, three, five. Three hundred thirty-five thousand. Three hundred thirty-five thousand. There you go. You can uh, get a house on wheels that can go anywhere on earth for three hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. And this one is beautiful. Really nice. And here's the coolest part about this vehicle. It's built in Minden, Nevada, which is just a few miles south of where I'm from, because I'm in uh, Reno. Pretty cool, right? I've been seeing this trailer all over the place on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. Introduce yourself to the world. Tell us what you got, man. Uh, hi, I'm Mark, uh, president of Bean Trailer, and this is Black Bean. Uh, this is the top of the line bean trailer. Great, great name, by the way. Do you know why it's called black bean? I have. I can only guess. I, I'm Cuban, and black beans are the best. Oh, beans. okay. <laughs> nice. So, so the uh, line goes from bean stock to mean and meaner, and all those are off-road worthy. Uh, what makes this one different? The construction is the same on all of our beans. What makes this one different is just the electronics and some of the features in the galley. So, so, so kind of educate a lot of my viewers that may not even know how your stuff is made like what's the big selling point here? yeah and I, I know you and I had uh, basically debated in comments one time about fiberglass versus aluminum I don't know if you remember that I don't know yeah, yeah. so yeah. Uh, what makes being different is that it's a one-piece fiberglass shell so there is no seam. oh it's joint. fiberglass yeah so there's no seam or joint on the top so uh -huh. what destroys trailer is vibration that you get on dirt yeah dirt roads like washboard roads right because it's like an earthquake every yeah, single time yeah. you go there so how, how do people test products and just yeah. to try to destroy them it's through vibration right yeah and you get that anytime you're on a dirt road and so 
it didn't make any sense to me that most trailers have a joint between the roof and the sidewall. So, uh -huh. Because uh, I knew that that would require maintenance over time or loosen up. Yeah. So our approach to it was just build it like a boat hull. Like a, and it's, so this is just one piece of fiberglass with no seams. So it's a big mold right. and you pop yeah. it out of the mold and it's one solid, right, kind of like right. earth roamer. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. And then yeah. Uh, what we do is we bond it to a composite wall. Mm -hmm. There's no plywood in the sidewalls of the trailer when we're in the floor. And when you're done, you have this incredibly sturdy structure that's going to last you years and years. You know, it's a steel frame, it's powder coated. This one has a timber and suspension. Those are some of the best suspensions out there, right? Yeah. And so, uh, one of the things that makes black bean different is that this galley is uh, really um, a galley that is perfect for a long extended trip. You know, you have this slide out that locks out. It's got a large 55 Ford Dometic uh, fridge freezer. Mm -hmm. You have this Cook Partners 22-inch uh, stove. You've probably seen it on a lot of trailers mm -hmm. that the stoves are really small, so you can't get two big skillets on it. Yeah, this but, is this is the level where you can cook a nice steak. Yeah, this yeah one, you right? can get like two 12-inch yeah. skillets on that. <laughs> and what's nice about that, you can either cook in this direction if the weather's bad. You can uh, just flip this around the other way. So this will flip the other way around. Oh, so if the wind's messing with yeah, you, you so can just you can move it. This in this oh, that's nice. That's such a good idea. So you what, have, what, is, what is this right here? Let's talk about uh, that. This is what's called uh, a discado, or it's a third burner that you put in. And you're probably familiar like that. with, I think a lot of people in the overlanding industry call it uh, a scottle. Uh -huh. But this is gives you the opportunity to have a third burner so that you can uh, put a big big pot on there, you yeah. can whatever you need a third burner for. Yeah. We use it for what's called a discotter, which is basically a plow disc and it's like mm -hmm. communal cooking, everybody stands around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this galley has um, large drawers with obviously potato chips and um, then uh, the other feature that's interesting about this uh, galley is this huge sink. You've probably seen RV sinks that uh, are so small that you can just basically wash your face or brush your teeth. Yeah. But this is a large this is sink deep. that you can actually uh, wash dishes in. That's nice. What is this material you were here? This material. This material is Ridge Light. Um, it's what's used for high-end. Um, uh, cutting boards mm -hmm. and so it's anti microbial uh, and so uh, you can either let it patina or you can oil it like a cutting board uh, and you can cut right on the surface if you want to. You know the first thing I notice about this area here yeah. it seems wider than yeah. most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's uh, 60 inches between end cap and end cap. That's there, nice. Right? I like that. And then you have the cabinets, and the, the cabinets are pushed through, so you can determine on any trip how mm. much of the cabinets are for the galley and how much are for the cabin. That's nice. Just yeah. the aesthetics, too. It kind of looks premium. It looks really yeah. nice, man. Right. The, the wood good, that you use. Oh, I see. So yeah, the wood that you guys use, yeah. it's, yeah. it's beautiful. It's like a work yeah. of art. Thank you. I like that. Yeah, we take a lot of pride in the construction, you know. You have a uh, hookup for fresh water, you have gray water outlet, and then you have the option for a uh, hot water system. Nice, so if you want to take a shower after a long day of exploring, right. oh, you, don't have to, you, don't have to, you can live in comfort. These fenders look pretty tough. Are yeah. you, can you stand on these? Yeah, yeah, you can get up on there. Um, yeah, they're actually through bolted. You can see that they don't they don't flex at all. Right? Yeah, they, they look pretty tough. Yeah. And, and if you look in there, you see the the through bolting plate. Oh yeah. Right? And then this is a cabin. The one thing you probably notice about the cabin uh, that's different than a lot of square back or teardrop trailers, we have eight to twelve inches of more interior headroom, right? Yeah, because so, it's an arch. Yeah. yeah. So you never feel like uh, you're. Uh, claustrophobic in there. It's got tons of room. You have an actual queen size mattress. Very nice. And because this one is mine, I actually have a little movie <laughs> theater in here. I have a projector and we project off of that back wall. We just set up a movie screen. Oh, that's cool. That actually makes sense because you don't have yeah. to have a big LCD screen. Right. Just bring down the, yeah. the fabric screen or whatever it is. Right. That's cool. So big cabin, you have uh, screen doors 
So uh, our bean trailers have screen doors. Keep the bugs out. Uh, you can have an air conditioning option. So uh, we have this big front window. You can right. look out. Yeah, and if I like you that. look careful, look at look at the detailing, look at the stitching and oh, yeah. the tailoring around the window and just the fit and finish on and the refinement of all the you'll never see uneven gaps, you'll never see glue lines, you'll never see staples. That's nice. Property. You know what I noticed too is I don't think I've ever seen a trailer with the wood slats on the roof yeah, before. That's kinda cool. It kinda warms it up, huh? Almost gives you that boat feeling. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. It does have a little yeah. bit of an article here. Yeah, and then storage here. To the front. Uh, this unit uh, Ooh, has a lot of batteries. Uh, standard black bean comes with two lithium batteries. Uh, we have four in this one, giving you 420 amp hours of power. Nice. Which is half of uh, Tesla power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can stay off good for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's we nice. We also have a solar controller in there. And this uh, will help boost the signal from your 7 pin so that when you're in transit, you mm -hmm. can be charging your batteries. Nice, nice. I see, the, I see the one ups, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's an awesome bike rack, and you know, you're able to put those on top of this box and mount two bikes. In front of it. Very cool. Love One of the it. things um, the most excited about this trailer is, uh, you know, people were asking us, how do you protect the front window in transit? And oh yeah. What we came up with was this solar panel. So this is a carbon fiber solar panel that actually mounts uh, in front of the ah, window. Yeah. And so it protects it from rocks. And then when you get on site, it has a tether. Yeah. And you orient it toward the sun, just like we've done in the So it's dual purpose. That's smart. Yeah. I like that. It's very cool. Yeah. And then if you come around to this side, you see a large 2,000 watt inverter. Um, you have this uh, large storage tray. Now this storage tray can serve two purposes. You can use it for storage, like for your camping box, or you can take this box out of here, and this will hold an additional 75 quart Dometic. Oh, you can double up your food and water. Yeah. yeah, nice. Or food and drinks in general. That's a good idea. Food is important. <laughs> Especially if you like to eat. I always tell people like, you could build a box. You just build a box of wheels. You know, anybody can do that. Yeah. But to build something this premium yeah. is not cheap, not easy. Yeah, you know? that's true. Um, so the average bean fry, our most popular trailer is called Meaner Bean. Mm -hmm. It has a timber and suspension, and the average price for that is about 30 grand. Mm -hmm. And um, this one starts at 37. Uh, one of my favorite trailers is called Beanstalk, and it starts at $18,000. That's mm -hmm. the exact same construction, which is really the most important part of this trailer is how it's constructed mm -hmm. to very, be very durable instead of being disposable in two or three years. Nice. Where, where are you guys based out of? We're based out of Salt Lake City. Oh, okay. So you're halfway to where I'm going. I got to yeah. go to uh, Reno. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I, I'm double the distance from you. Yeah, we have quite a few uh, yeah. trailers in the Reno area. I've seen them around. Have, yeah, uh, yeah. My area is, there's tons of campers out in yeah. my area. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I, I probably saw at least a dozen of these companies out there in the re, in the Reno Tahoe area. Yeah, Tahoe, right? right yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you for giving me the awesome tour of your trailer. I've, it's cool to finally see it in person and meet you. Yeah, very cool. All right, so that was the end of day three. It was only about I don't know two hours, like an hour and a half, two hours just enough to get a couple more uh, interviews in and check out some more products before I left. Um, got to finally meet the guys over at Bean. Uh, those are really cool trailers, I have to admit. Big, lightweight, and like rolling works of art, man, really nice. Anyway, uh, hit that like button to support my channel. Appreciate it, helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about Overland Expo Mountain West in general over the last three days. Pretty cool, right? Love it. It's so nice to get back out and see all these, uh, these cool products again. And uh, now I'm excited to get my truck. I get my uh, Toyota Tundra 2022. 
and just start outfitting it. What should I get? I already know I'm gonna put some rock sliders first, then uh, probably a little bit of lift kit, some wheels and tires, bumper and a winch, spare tire carrier, and oh look, trail recon. Nice to meet you. Uh, Navy Corman, right? Retire. Yes. So yeah, it's going to be fun uh, outfitting my new truck. Kind of have a, a direction where I want to go, but not 100% sure because there's just so many options. We shall see. Maybe I'll reach out and talk to some people and see who wants to sponsor my channel, finally. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but I have zero sponsors <laughs> on my channel. Not a single company uh, is represented on my channel as an ongoing supporter of my channel as far as uh, financially supporting and helping me do what I do. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have any sponsors. I don't have Patreon. I don't have any of that. Not that I'm asking. I mean, I'm not complaining at all. I'm just saying there's a missed opportunity for businesses, you know. Some of these businesses out there, you can get a lot of airtime if you uh, sponsor my channel. I'm just saying, hint, hint. <laughs> so yeah, when I get this Tundra though, maybe uh, maybe I can get a, a bunch of um, sponsors to help build it up. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see. There's a lot of opportunities. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Take care, guys. Have a good one.